Love Ninja Warrior UK? Then you're in the right place. Welcome to a new series where we travel around the Ninja Warrior UK adventure parks and pit celebrities against each other. This is Ninja Warrior UK on tour. Welcome to episode one of Ninja Warrior UK on tour. We're here in glorious Leeds to put our celebrity contestants through their paces and crown our first ever Ninja Warrior UK on tour champion. But in order to separate the ninjas from the numpties, we've devised three fiendish rounds. They are inflatables, battle tower, and of course our famous Ninja Warrior UK adventure parks course itself. Every time a contestant wins a round, they'll take an advantage going forward into the next one. Who is going to be the champion and who are our first victims? Sorry, contestants. Well, let's go meet them. My name's Radzi and I'm a television presenter. So I went on Ninja Warrior a few years ago and I've got a proper ninja -y. Basically, I jumped onto a cargo net, all my fingers wrapped around the cargo net, except this one, and it went out. So I'm back for revenge. The thing I'm most excited about is possibly the inflatable course because this is like your childhood TV dream come to reality and hopefully there are no injuries. Karim came second in Strictly Come Dancing. That basically makes him a legend of all things body movement. So how am I going to do? I don't know, but it's going to be fun, it's going to be frenetic and it's going to be really competitive. Uh, you're right, I'm Karim Zerowell and I'm a TV presenter from London. I do have dance experience. I'm quite agile, quite nimble. I used to be quite in shape, but I've lost that a little bit now, but we'll soon find out. I'm worried about it all, but I reckon I'd be good at the inflatable course. I mean, Rad's is like a work of art. Like he, I could fit in his bicep. I'm like five foot nothing, he is humongous. But I reckon I'll get him on speed and flexibility. You know, it's not all about the guns, sometimes it's about <laughs> coming for your ads. So there are celebrity contestants, but what will they be up against? Well, it's time to get pumped because our first round is the inflatables. And much like my hair, they may appear fun and bouncy, but up close, they're very hard indeed. It's time to get the lowdown. The inflatables course at Leeds is approximately 54 metres long and 18.1 metres wide. Our two contestants are going to have to run around the enclosed track and around the inflatables. From the entrance, they'll make their way down the main track with tricky obstacles like the red balls and climbing walls to navigate. The winner is the person who makes it around in the fastest time. But with the bouncing floors, this is more about agility than strength. And if you want to visit a Ninja Warrior UK adventure park, then you can do. Just head to the website ninjawarrioruk.co.uk and you could take part in some of these fantastic courses. But right now, it's the turn of the celebs. Radzi, are you ready? In three, two, one, go! Oh, and look at that. Straight away, he's hampered by Karim. But he's not letting that beat him. He's straight up and ready to go through the course again and making light work of it so far. But saying that, this is a big course full of obstacles. Not that Razzy seems to mind. He's dashing his way through them. Whoa. Up and down. Great athleticism here from the former Blue Peter presenter who is uh, Obviously not afraid of the dark, he's not letting something like that stop him. Those uh, pointy things aren't as sharp as they look, but still could uh, cause a nasty graze. And uh, Radzi, a little bit of indecision there before he makes his mind up and uh, pushes through some more of the obstacles, coming towards the end of the course now as he uh, makes his way down this slide. He knows the end is in sight. Here he comes, well done Radzi. Now it's Karim's turn, there's a little bit more horseplay on the start line but Karim makes a, a little bit more of a meal of it than Radzi did and he's off on his way, he's down again straight away but he's straight back up 
and over the obstacles. Now, we know that Karim has agility, he has grace, he has precision from his time on Strictly Come Dancing, but does he have what it takes to beat these obstacles and to beat Bradsy's time? So far, he seems to be enjoying himself. Look at him stay on his feet like that. That is the, oh, well, I just spoke too soon. But he's back up again, and away he goes. This course has many objects and obstacles to pick your wits. Karim now though seems to be uh, getting to grips with it. He's pushing through and all that he's thinking about now surely is beating Radzi's time. Has he got what it takes to get that winning score in round one? We'll soon find out, but he looks to be tiring. Come on Karim, you can do it. Pick yourself back up. Okay, off he goes. Here comes Karim. Radzi's there to greet him at the end and just slow down his progress slightly, but I'm sure it won't matter. Let's find out how they did. Got the two valiant competitors here. Let's start with you, Karim, first. It was really fun for the first five seconds. There could have been a lot more flats, a lot <laughs> less obstacles, you know, and I think I'd have scored him otherwise. Yeah, but. yeah. If only you could have just walked in a straight line the whole way around. Yeah, or drove. Oh, yeah, that's it. And have someone drive you as yeah. well. Perfect. Uh, that is really fun in there. It's genuinely, that is a good time. Yeah. yeah. It might not be a great time, actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but the time I had felt good. Yeah. yeah, we're going to find out your times very shortly. And remember, the contestant who got the best time goes into the next round with an advantage. You get to choose on round two whether you want to go first, yeah. and then you have a little break before you go into the final round of that. So it's okay, up to yeah. the winner to decide. Karim? Okay. I can tell you, you completed the course in a time of one minute, yes. 24 seconds. Solid. Reaction. It's not too bad, that I'll actually. Take that. I'll take it. It depends on what his is, but <laughs> one minute, 24, that's good. Yeah. High five. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Radzi, you completed the course in a time of one minute, yes. 17 seconds. Oh, <laughs> no. Seven seconds. In. For you, Radzi, those few seconds mean that you get to choose in which order you compete in round two. Okay, so being an Arsenal fan, I'm used to being first, so I'm going to go first. <laughs> Both of those things aren't actually true about Arsenal. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go yeah, first. Yeah, exactly. Well, the logic doesn't quite work out, I don't think, but we're going to see Razzy first in round two. Round two is the Battle Tower. There's three rounds, each one is 30 seconds long, and this time there's a professional involved. Our Ninja Dean will take on each celebrity in round one and two before the two celebrities take on each other. Each time they knock the other person off, they get five points. But if they get knocked off, they lose five points. The winner will be the one with the most points at the end, but not including our ninja. There are... Oh, Razzy, it's terrible to begin with. That's five points to be minus five to Razzy. Razzy's going low. Is it gonna work? Oh, he's got him! Razzy's back on level two, zero points. He celebrated, might not work out too well. He's back again, straight off for Razzy. Minus five again. Can he get back? No! It's another minus five for Razzy, he's on minus ten. The time is rapidly... Oh! He got one there! He's done on the minus five for Radzi! But the celebrations are gonna cost him! He's on minus ten! Oh dear, I mean Radzi's hubris is getting the better of him here. Uh, and they're carried on, I think that's it, I think that's it. By my reckoning, Radzi looked to have finished on minus ten, but we'll get an exact score very soon. Okay, here comes Karim. It's a good start. He's holding his own. Oh, and oh, King's up. Karim's up. Karim's up. Plus five for Karim. He's saying, can we please hang on? No, he's up. He's back on level terms. It's zero for Karim so far. But it's a good start. Radzi's getting involved. He's not happy with Karim's success. But I put that Karim is five up at the moment. Theo you know, doesn't know what's hitting him at the moment. He's the professional link to that. Oh, and there goes Karim. I think he's back to zero by my score. Dino's celebrating. He's letting it get the better of him. And Karim comes back again. This guy doesn't know when he's down. And he's even stopping Dino to get back on. Amazing. Look at that from Karim. 
Oh, the all conquering champion. Some make it up now. He performed very, very well in his round versus the Ninja D. Oh, and he's showing that form again. Uh, Karim fell off, but I don't think that counts. Radzi didn't push him, and he's back again. Karim is pummeling Radzi right now. He's really showing him his dominance, and he's celebrating as well. He's showboating. That's what it's all about. Can Radzi withhold? No, he cannot. Karim is the king of the ring. Look at him crow. <laughs> so we battled our way through round two, Battle Tower. How did that go for you guys? Still catching my breath, Ben. But I you... nailed it. <laughs> uh, I think it was on your back more than it was on your legs, Radzi, there. Uh, no, it was really fun, really tough. I might be small, but I'm mighty. Yes, yes, low centre of gravity. I had a brilliant tactic against Dean. So on your marks, set, go duck, then forgot that he can push me as I duck. Yeah. And it got off to a bad start and kind of continued in that vein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more like a, an actual duck who was yeah. <laughs> easily <Yeah>. hunted. <laughs> um, now, we do have some scores in. Uh, before yes. we announce them... Announce me to me, Ben. Uh, yeah. So you're feeling pretty confident on this, Rad? Absolutely. Rads. Yeah, I can reveal yes, ben. that, Karim, yeah. you ended on... Plus... Plus 10. Oh, <laughs> rubbish. No, it's not. Absolutely That rubbish. is good. We're going to see Once that. Fighting this. talk from Radzi. Harold Vorderman would have struggled to have counted this one. Yeah. Here we go. You finished on yeah. minus what? 15. <laughs> minus 15. <laughs> it's not over just yet, is it? Um, no, it's not. Which, Karim, Radzi, come back in because we've still got the final round to discuss. Would yeah. you like to face this first or second? Yeah, I'd like to get it out of the way. So I'm going to go first, set an impeccable time and see if Radzi can beat it, which I don't think he can. Strong. Well, let's head into the final round and see how they do. There are three lanes, each with four elements to them. They start off easy before ending with, you've guessed it, the warped wall. If they fall off, they don't fail, but they do add 30 seconds to their time. The winner is the person who can get through the course the fastest. Can they both beat the wall? So it's time for our third and final round. And of course, we've left the hardest till last. To talk us through it is our professional ninja, Dean. Dean, this is very similar to the TV course, although I'm sure you'd say the TV course is much harder. How should the celebrities tackle this? Okay, so the, the difficulty they're gonna have here is that they've got three lanes to race. First one's gonna test speed. We've got endurance and balance work. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that they all had different skill sets. Yes. And in a word, do you think these two celebrities can complete this course? Absolutely. I think <laughs> as long as they dig deep, they've got this. If not, if they falter, it may be game over. I like your optimism. I wish I shared it. <laughs> so if you want to join in the fun here at a Ninja Warrior UK adventure park, you can do. Just visit the website to book your visit today. Now it's time for our third and final round. And remember, every time a celebrity touches the floor, it adds 30 seconds to their time, quite simply, they don't want to be touching that floor. OK, Karim won the last round, so he goes first. Karim, are you ready? In three, two, one, go! There you go. Nicely done. Casual. Casual. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was not <laughs> Why am I stuck? OK, I'm over there, Raj, I'm over. In are you playing? Okay. There he goes, yes. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay. Come on, saw that. That one's out. On to the next. Here we go. Bye. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's perfect. Don't like a pro. Oh, God. Here he's got toes in the bar. That's it, mate. Nice and done. And he's there. Yeah. The yeah. Lovely, mate. Lovely work of that. What is this? I love cheese. I'm more of a camembert guy, you see. Soft cheese. Yeah. I'm mature of you. That was close. I've run out of puns, so I need to get it off this. There he goes. Whoa! Nice and easy. Whoa! Nice and easy. 
Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Why is it? Like <laughs> I'm battered. I'm right, I'm battered. This is the last part of the course. This is where it starts to get really tough. Here he goes. Uh, I'm going for my own pride. You can swim. Go on, son. Yes. That was oh, oh chest man. kiss. Here comes the easy one. <laughs> it's the one. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> 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 ready. <laughs> Come on, I need it. We don't want to do this one. We don't like that one. I don't like this one either. Here we go. This is. This is the really easy one. I'm so small. Go on. Go on, Chris. No. No. Go on, son. Go again, go again, go again. Go again, go again. I hate it. Something else. I'll try one more. Here we go, go on. Oh, yes. Oh. take on the final round. Now it's the turn of Radzi in three, two, one, go! Here we go, here we go. Got a different technique. Oh, 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 oh yes, okay. It's a tricky one to start We're that. Radzi is nailing it though. <laughs> I helped this man! I helped him! <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Radzi was there to help Karim. Karim seems to be doing the opposite. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I wasn't expecting to gas up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Slow going for Radzi at the moment, but he just got there. He's doing really well. <sighs> We're through! Come on, Rats! Yes. Speed on that. Speed on that. He did that like a natural, didn't he? Come on. Let's just face it, right? Where did you hold? Nobody knows. This. The cheese is hard. The cheese is hard. There's a lot of it. Not many holes. Is it bad that I'm really hard? Radzi at the moment, but he's making light work of it. Come on, through. Okay. Come on. So far, this course has Let's held no fear for Radzi, but this Let's is where it gets scary. You're a bad man, dude. You're a bad man. Come on, time is off the essence. This guy. Oh, I, I, I helped you. Ah. Oh, okay. He's a bad man. Go on. He's, he's a stitch up. Oh. Ah. Come on, Radzi. Zuru. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This guy. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Radzi's yeah. got more core than an apple. Incredible. Yeah. I think he's awesome. Okay. Come on, Razzy. Come on, Razzy. Come on, Razzy. Come on, Razzy.
Okay, that's the end of round three and the end of proceedings today. Chaps, have you had a good time? I yes. Know. One of you's going to go home with a trophy. Yeah, and that guy is going to hopefully be me. Yeah. I mean, I fell off a lot. And, <laughs> and you carried me for a long time. I literally carried yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know the weird thing is? It's the easier looking objects. They're the hardest ones. The punch bags. The punch bags. They were horrible. What? I feel like I didn't realise I'd be able to do so much of the, uh, the handrails, which I did. And beating the wall, that's what you, you know, the beat the wall. Yeah. That's what I think I really wanted to do. So the fact I can actually run up there, being five foot nothing, actually reach, made me so happy, honestly. Oh, it um, was, it yeah. was fantastic. It was a great run from both of you. You gave it your all. Yeah. And obviously, it's not the winning, it's the taking part that counts. Although, you know, this trophy says otherwise. It is the winning, because I've got to give it to someone. Someone is going to become our inaugural Ninja Warrior UK on tour champion. You, you can only have one inaugural, so forever <laughs> you'll be the inaugural yeah. champion. That's we can share deal. it. Get though. it on the scene. If I win it, we can share yeah. it. You could well. be sharing it, but these times say otherwise. <laughs> um, so let's now reveal the scores. Remember, it was about who got around the course fastest, and every time you touched the floor, you incurred a 30 second penalty. Uh, Radzi, I can reveal that your time yes. was three minutes and 28 seconds. Quite long, that. Karim, yeah. I can reveal that your time yeah. you need a was calendar for this. three minutes oh, and oh. 15 seconds. Oh, yay! <laughs> yay! And yeah, there was no penalties, hand me the trophy. Thank you, guys. I'm here till Wednesday! The crowd have been full. There were a few oh, incursions. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Now, we counted, and I think we're being generous with this count, <laughs> seven floor touches, <laughs> uh, which brings your total time for him up to six minutes 45. So, Razzi, that means you are Ninja Warrior UK on tour champion! <laughs> Do you have any words? The inaugural champion. I do not have many trophies, especially as an Arsenal fan. I'm taking this one. Well done, Rads. Thank you very much, well sir. Done. It was well heartfelt. Done. It was. It was true. Honestly, well done. That it's, was it's genuinely, either way, a lot of fun. It was so yeah. much fun. I really enjoyed it. And Thanks even us. Should we come have another one? Yes, definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you've had a blast. We certainly have. And remember, you can check out any of these venues. Just head to the website online. But for now, from us, it's goodbye.